and mock and we are starting this half hour with an announcement from sled as they said they have arrested a man who worked at a local care facility for the abuse of a vulnerable adult and according to sled Brandon Brown was working at the Midlands Regional Center an inpatient facility for the State Department of Disabilities and Special Needs. They say he grabbed a resident by the arm to bring him inside and once he was in the doorway the arrest warrant says he pushed the victim to the floor. The resident is considered a vulnerable adult and we're told that surveillance video did corroborate this information. Tonight, the attorney general is raising awareness about crimes against vulnerable adults and changing the name of a unit that his office manages. Yeah, the South Carolina vulnerable adult population consisting of older citizens and those with intellectual disabilities is rising and increasing and so are the chances of abuse and neglect. So our News 19's Cassidy Byer has more of what you need to know. Since my mother had no resources and couldn't afford um, to go into a facility full time, I did take advantage of the five day respite and you utilized a facility near us for that break. So Ellen Hinch was her mother's full time caregiver for five years before her mother's passing. During part of that time, her mother was also receiving hospice care. So hospice will provide a five day respite in a facility so that the caregiver can get a break. But Ellen was devastated when she learned her mom had not gotten the care she needed. In fact, she might have been abused. And then at the end of it, all of the rest that I had gotten was just shattered because the facility did not take care of her. When I got her back, she had a bruise on her face. Her dentures were broken. Half of her meds that I had given to them in blister packs with every day labeled, half of her meds had not been given to her and she had a pressure wound um, that within just a few hours had developed into the size of a tennis ball. According to the South Carolina Attorney General's Office, within the last two years, local law enforcement has seen an increase of 30% in reports of vulnerable adults not receiving the proper care they need. In working with law enforcement throughout South Carolina, my office has found that our partnership is uncovering heinous cases of neglect, abuse, and exploitation. Now the Attorney General's office is rebranding a unit so people know where they can go get help. It will be called the Vulnerable Adults and Medicaid Provider Fraud Unit. Whether a vulnerable adult is in a facility or in their own home, the abuse, neglect, and exploitation they experience is often committed by those who should be caring for them the most. Dr. Marcy Smith is a licensed gerontology social worker, and she says everyone with an older loved one should know the signs and symptoms of abuse and neglect. We may see a change in behavior and personality. They may become isolated, they may become depressed, or they may become angry and um, experience more anxiety. When we think about their finances, if they're being financially exploited, which is the number one type of abuse, and it's actually being done by family members because they have the easy access to them. While Ellen saw signs of neglect of her mom, she didn't think there was much she could do. Now she says accountability is necessary to ensure vulnerable adults receive proper care. Absolutely, I think they should be held accountable because it's heartbreaking on so many levels. Reporting from Columbia, Cassidy Byer, News 19 WLTX. Well, if you do suspect something is wrong with the care of an elderly adult, like we just heard from Dr. Macy Smith, you can contact the Vulnerable Adults and Medicaid Provider Fraud Hotline and make a report. The Attorney General's office says if his office cannot handle the report, they will get it to someone who can.